Hi, I'm Elise from the Cosbond Workshop. Our armor is primed and painted and we're ready to add straps. I already strapped all of my armor for a convention, but I tore everything off to show you guys the four ways that I cause bonded all of my straps. The first strapping method that I'm going to show you guys is how to use parachute clips with nylon straps. Parachute clips are super convenient because you can paint them, you can put them on and off yourself, and they're adjustable. To begin, we're going to cut out the length of nylon strap we need. Cut enough to put your clip through with some left over to attach to your armor. Burn the edges of the nylon slightly so they don't fray. I use the nylon strap to trace the amount of Cosbon attach and build I need and use it to stick the two ends of nylon together. We can now use Cosbon attach and build to stick these to the inside of our foam. I first trace the nylon onto the attach and build, cut that piece out and then stuck it to the nylon. Peel off the release paper side and stick it to the inside of your foam. Do the same thing for the opposite side of the clip. Now that both pieces are stuck, we can use Cosbon Reinforcer for extra security. To use Cosbon Reinforcer, you just cut out enough of a rectangle to go over your strap and with about an inch more on each side. Reinforcer will guarantee that your strap will stay on. Now we have straps that are secure and easy to take on and off by ourselves. The next method I'm going to show you is using zippers on foam. Zippers are super convenient because you don't need a friend to help you into it. To begin, we're going to measure out the amount of Cosbond attach and build we'll need to stick our zipper to our foam. We don't want the zipper too close to the armor because it will get caught up. Now, peel the release side paper and carefully stick the zipper to your foam. Repeat this for the other side. Now, peel the release side paper and carefully stick the zipper to your foam. Repeat this for the other side. Once both sides are stuck down, we can use Cosbon Reinforcer for some extra security. Cut on enough reinforcer to go over the entire length of your zipper with about one to two inches extra to stick to the foam. Peel the release paper off and carefully stick it to your zipper. Do the same thing for the other side. Our zipper is secure and you can see how easily we can zip and unzip up our leg armor. The next strapping method I'm gonna show you is a combination of nylon and elastic. First thing you'll need to do is cut out your elastic. Then cut out smaller pieces of nylon. Enough to sew the elastic and stick it to your armor. Now you can burn the edges of the nylon. Cosbon attach and build is super strong, but it has a hard time with stretchy fibers. So we're going to first sew our elastic straps to our nylon. And go over your stitching a couple times just to be sure. We can now use Cosbon attach and build to stick the nylon parts to our armor. Once those are secure, go over the nylon you've stuck with Cosbond Reinforcer. The last strapping method I'm going to show you is using nylon and Velcro. First, we're going to cut out the necessary amount of Velcro. I like to use more than I need so I feel confident they'll stay. Trace them onto your Cosbond attach and build and stick that to your Velcro. Now you can stick one side of your Velcro to your armor. I like to use at least two to three points of contact. For the other side of the armor, we're gonna cut out enough nylon to attach to the armor and side of the Velcro. First, stick your nylon to your armor using Cosbon Attach and Build. Attach the opposite Velcro piece 
to the nylon using the same method. We can now use Cosbond Reinforcer on the nylon pieces for extra security. When we put the two Velcro pieces together, they're flush. I used all these strapping methods on each piece of my armor, depending on what I needed, and now I can confidently wear them at a con without having to worry about them falling off. Thank you for tuning in to the making of Astrid's armor and weapon series. Stay tuned for the next series where I make Kat's lunar form from Gravity Rush. In that series, I'll show you how to attach armor to fabric, fabric to fabric, and how to use Cosbond's wire manager to easily attach LEDs. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.